I experienced three international conflicts. So, of course, that affect me personally, and in the end, affect my artwork. I have to to take all this experience, uh, personal experience, physical experience, and turn it to artistic uh, uh, aspects. I start to train as a figurative artist. In my mind, it was very clear. Once I finish my uh, training as a, uh, as a completely figurative artist, I will turn sharply to be abstraction artist. My artwork start to respond to this destruction in the country and country in, in wars for a long time. In 1991, it is like 10 years war with Iran. So it is, this is my, when I was very youth in that time. So I start to respond to this really and start to develop a ruins technique, which is burning and destroying material. And this appeared slightly in my first exhibition. In that time, I completely isolated. You know, there are sanctions, so we couldn't travel. So I, I, I couldn't travel over 35 years. So this is my response to a specific area, which is just to Iraq. I'm artist more than uh, just person reflect to the, to the war or something. So this has really led me to some philosophical thing in my art, which has led me to explore a threshold between existence and obliteration, and start big question about the belief of uh, ephemeral na nature of existence. My physical experience actually turned to something artistic and philosophical. It was very hard. Uh, from 1991. So this is not a new experience in 2003. It is exactly t the same what happened in, t uh, in 1991. Because 1991, it is the big bomb uh, of Baghdad, and I was inside Baghdad when that happened. Then we did experience sanction uh, until 2003, which is like 13 years. So it, is, it was very hard life, it is hardship. Uh, and then after that happened the invasion, which is, there's no big difference. It is just harder. But we managed to do artworks. That's why I did artwork from destruction material, from destruction objects, from found objects, deal with the very poor material to create artwork, use some destruction to create artwork. I have to deal, it is like to survive as artist. I was a teacher, associate professor in, uh, in university, and in that time, in between 2006 and 2007, it is the peak of, uh, of violence in Iraq, in Baghdad specifically, because I, I lived in Baghdad. And uh, in this peak, they start to kill many uh, professors and doctors and many professionals, and we don't know how and who. And then I, it has really started to affect me because in that time I lived alone in, in Baghdad without any family. And I'm a woman and artist and uh, I don't know what will happen to me. And suddenly I get through online this invitation to Paris, to my fellowship. And I just, uh, I said, uh, in that time, in my, in my opinion, I will go and return back after six or one year and return, I left everything as it is in my home, in my studio there. Then when I left, it has become worse. And they say, if you can manage to stay there, stay there. It is, it is very worse to, to return back. And I, I stayed there in Paris. And then from Paris, I came to London. In Iraq, I physically taste war and conflict. When I moved here, it is a peaceful city, but still there is a, through the media, there is some, you can, uh, you can see the, uh, this and just your memory take you back to this experience. So you know what it looks like to be with the war and what, what it looks like to be without electricity or what it looks like with the wa without water, like now. So I, I, ha I had this experience. So when I saw it now through the media, as will affect me, but in different sense. There is some young artists, they are lovely, but they need really big help and to help them honestly with the, w w because they reflect the real thing, the, the real situation there. They are not outside, of, so reflect to the conflict through the media. 
they 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 are like like me before they physically test this violence which is now really crucial so i am trying to to help uh, this because they have a lot to speak about it and they are still young and they have experience and in the end if the, there's no hope they will die because there's actually a completely isolated